The leaking north side canal of the Emmett Valley Irrigation District went dry this week for repair. As we reported last week, the seeping canal was leaking, and as a result, a landslide closed a busy state highway located directly below the concrete line canal. Irrigation Superintendent Mike Mitchell says the fix will be quick. Well, we've dried up the ditch Monday morning, we cleaned it Tuesday, and Monday afternoon these guys came in and sandblasted yesterday, and today they're applying aqualastic to treat any cracks or microscopic fissures in the concrete, and we hope to have it applied by today and tomorrow and the water back on Friday morning. Good news for the farmers who rely on the canal system to keep some 18,000 acres of irrigated crop ground growing. Farmer Tracy Walton. We've been really blessed the way things have been going and and things are ahead of schedule. So the, water, the weather's cooled down a little bit and that's helped also. Superintendent Mitchell says the sprayed on coat of aqua plastic will take care of the short term leaking seeping problem but there is more to do for the long-term fix. We should get a good seal and we should take care of the problem. That portion of the problem that we have to deal with. There's a, the way I see it, there's a three-part problem. One is the water that comes through and goes down the hillside. Two is the condition of the hillside. Three is the long-term fix. And if we do one and two good enough, then three will take care of itself. Walton says the four to five days without water will cause minor crop loss, but overall, the situation this week looks pretty good to growers. I got some crops, I got some wheat that was real dry and I was just starting to irrigate when this happened. So it's going to hurt a little there. There's some corn that didn't get irrigated yet. It's going to hurt them, but in general, we're really looking pretty good. And regardless of the repair cost, it's money well spent. Yeah, it's going to cost us, you know, some money. Hopefully it gets us through this year because there's a lot of money spent on crops. You got fertilizer that people are putting on, fuel to seed. You know, we're talking already spent $500 an acre, and if you don't recoup some of that, that really makes it tough. Mood of your neighbors? Everybody uh, a little more upbeat this week? Well, I think they will be if the water comes on in the next two days. And stay on to the end of the growing season. With the Idaho Farm Bureau, the voice of Idaho agriculture, I'm Steve Ritter.